Mariners welcoming back a familiar face, Connor Bleakley signing back here after spending last season in Allen and then a little bit in Indy. Connor, good to have you back. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. How are you, Kiels? Doing good. Uh, lots of lots of new faces lately, so it's nice to see a familiar face. Tell us about your uh, your night or your 2020-2021 season. Spent most of it in Allen, then you were traded to Indy in April. What was the year like for you? Yeah, it was. You know, I was a little familiar going back to Texas. I played uh, I played quite a bit of hockey in Texas in my pro career, and um, went in, went into Allen kind of 25 games into the season and uh, played, played there for 30, 30 games, got COVID, uh, came back from COVID and kind of, was never really the same, uh, ended up getting traded. And then, um, uh, I decided to go home instead of, instead of going to Indy. So, uh, it was a weird year. Uh, I was just happy to, to play, um, you know, kind of keep, keep my legs fresh and whatnot. And, uh, just looking forward to, uh, getting the season going here with me. You feel back to yourself now, hopefully a little bit more. Yeah, no, I definitely do. Last year um, in in Canada and in Alberta, we had shutdowns and then startups and then shutdowns. And um, they shut down the rinks and all the hockey for like two months before I even headed out to play. So my my training was on the outdoor rinks. And uh, this this year has been uh, it's been better, been able to go to the gym and been able to you know go to the rink and stuff. So. Uh, I definitely feel a lot better going into this season than I did last season. Well, it seemed like you found a nice home here, even though it was only a few months that you actually played here. Um, And I'm guessing, you know, based on the fact that you're re-signing here, you do feel, feel that way. So what, uh, what is it about Maine that, that you enjoyed? I think first and foremost, I, the, the treatment of the players and, and, you know, everything was first class. Um, I came into, I got traded to Maine with a concussion and, um, you know, that wasn't an easy thing for me. And um, the way I was treated from the moment I got there was nothing but uh, first class. And uh, that goes a long way, especially for me. And um, we enjoyed some success on the ice. Uh, you know, I was only there for 15 games, but um, one of the best road trips of my life, we went to, to Newfoundland and beat them three out of four. And, um, felt like we had a really good team and then obviously COVID, uh, COVID shut us down for the, you know, the, the, in March, I believe it was, and, uh, everybody went home. So kind of, kind of left with, uh, you know, unfinished business. Yeah. You've had quite a journey drafted twice in the NHL. I think you're up to 10 different teams you've played on between AHL and ECHL. Uh, are you looking for stability? I mean, I'm sure you know that I'm, I'm sure you want to continue to, you know, move up and get to the NHL, but um, you know, would it be nice to stay in the same place for a few years? Cause you really haven't done that. Yeah, exactly. No, I, I, uh, that was a big reason why I signed in Maine um, was that stability and familiarity. And um, you know, it goes a long way. I think the more teams you play on and the more you bounce around, it kind of wears on your mental health a little bit. And, um, kind of having that stability and familiar film familiarity in Maine is going to be uh, huge for, for me. Now you mentioned uh, the final game before everything shut down in March, you actually scored a goal in that game. Nice little wrap around. Um, as you think back to that so long ago now, how, how awesome is it going to be to welcome fans back into the building here in a couple of weeks? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm really, I'm really excited that our first game is a home opener and um, I can't wait. Uh, it's been it's been a long time coming for for Mariners fans, and um, I know that uh, I'm looking forward to it as well as the rest of the team. And lastly, loaded question here, but you played in uh, four AHL cities, six ECHL cities. Where does uh, Portland rank uh, on the list? <laughs> Uh, that's a tough question. You know what? It's definitely in the top three. Um, you'll have to ask me that question in a couple months because I really didn't get in. I really didn't uh, explore too much when I was in Maine, but, um, from the exploring that I did do, I really loved it. And, and me and my girlfriend, Ashley, uh, she, she loved it as well. And, um, I'm looking forward to kind of seeing more of the city and, um, it's, it's made a great first impression and, uh, I can't wait. All right. Very fair. Well, after the Mariners win the Kelly Cup this year, I'll be sure to ask you again uh, in in your exit interview. How's that sound? Sounds good. (laughs) Thanks for the time, Connor. Looking forward to seeing you here in person in a couple of weeks. And uh, again, welcome back.
Thanks, Kills.